It is still on. So recently I was on TikTok and I saw this video come up about this girl using this liquid lipstick that literally would not come off. So this is my new favorite liquid lipstick. It's the NYX Cosmetics Shine Loud Liquid Lipstick. And let me just literally show you it in action. Let it dry for 90 seconds. And then when it's dry, you add your top coat shine. And then here's the test. No transfer of color. These are the NYX Shine Liquid Lipsticks and apparently these are supposed to last 16 hours and they're supposed to be transfer proof. Now, when I saw it, I was like, wait a minute, you know I have to test this out. I have to test this out with food because we know anything that has claims like these must be tested out with the one thing we always do, which is eat. So I went ahead and I did an episode of Beauty vs. Food with this to see does the NYX Shine Loud Lipstick last all day for 16 hours when you're eating food or does it actually transfer? Quick little intro to anyone that's new. Beauty vs. Food is a series that I have here on YouTube where I basically take lipsticks and mainly liquid lipsticks that have this, you know, claim of saying that they're gonna last 16 hours, 72 hours, whatever it may be. And I test it out against the biggest thing, which is food, because everybody's gonna eat food. And that's usually how these lipsticks come off the quickest is with food. So I wanted to see how long this could last because everybody's just raving and ranting about it. So we're gonna do this um, and we're gonna start right now. So I put on this lipstick for the first time here on camera. This is the shade Relentless Red. This is the liquid lipstick part end of it. So I'm just gonna apply it. And because I want only the lipstick to be tested and nothing else, I am not going to add any kind of lip line or anything. So if the lip line is off, just bear with me. Whoa, hold on a second. Okay. So in the time it took me to come back and refill the part, it had already dried down. What? Uh, oh my God. I do not know what is in here now. I'm like, I've never felt a liquid lipstick do this before. Um, okay. So I put on the top coat, which is like this clear gloss looking thing. It's got like oils and nourishing balms to like not dry out your lips completely. That makes it feel much better. It feels really weird without the clear part on it. It feels like your lips are gonna get stuck together. I wanted to start the first test with the thing that she does. So the... I was so surprised that basically what happened in that video happened exactly. Like not even a tiny little bit came off. So, all right. Ew, now that we've done that, let's just like go and eat and see how that, like how this works. For the first test, I decided to cook at home and also I put on a timer so, you know, I could keep track. Okay, so like the responsible adult that I am, I'm about to cook, but before we start, I'm gonna drink this. This is not alcohol or apple juice, actually. It is seed water. I don't know what kind of seeds are in here. I've, there's this fancy name for it, but I don't remember, but this is good for you. So we're gonna try this and I would love to see the transfer to see if anything's left on the glass. Mm, tastes awful. All right, so uh, just like the gloss part is on there, nothing else. With that little impromptu seed water test out of the way, it was actually time to eat. Um, please don't mind how ugly this omelet looks. Just appreciate the fact that it's homemade and I tried. Here we go, giant omelet. Beginning to eat said giant omelet. All right, I'm gonna bear you these uh, sitting here and eating parts, but basically I just sat here and ate my food and as you see, nothing came off. Okay, I hit record now. Empty, she's empty, and um, this didn't go anywhere. I, it's not even on the fork. So, sorry for showing a dirty fork to you, but it's not on the fork. First meal done. And if you're wondering, we still have 15 hours to go, so. It's gonna be a long test day. First test definitely was a success. Nothing came off. Here's even like a super close close up so you could see. The first time that I saw a little <laughs> bit come off was right about Do here. Do we see that? 
do we see that? A little bit came off. Can this thing actually last as long as it claims? Hmm. Three hours into the wear test and I could feel the product starting to feel a little bit differently. My lips are starting to feel itchy, like they're, they're feeling like itchy. So I'm gonna update it with a clear coat to see if it feels better. That clear coat really does wonders because as soon as I put it on, the like itchy type feeling went away completely and it didn't come back. So this next part was completely not planned, but I went out to pick up the next meal and because I went out, I had to put on a mask. So I decided let's test this thing with a mask as well. Feels like it's stuck on there. There is actually the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit of transfer. Let's see if you can get it in better. That's as much as the, of the transfer that goes through. It's like those very tiny little micro fine dots. So, very, 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 very little bit. With the mask test out of the way, we could now go to the main event, which was to see how this NYX Shine Loud lipstick worked against some heavy duty Indian food. This is for that one person that asked me to try out these challenges with Indian food. Okay, we are going in with the Momo. Momo or Nepali dumplings are very kind of like sticky and dewy. So if anything, I expected some residue to come off on these. Okay. But it didn't. So I just moved on to the main event, which was like more greasy Indian food. It's not moving. It's not. Okay. I loaded this up. Whoa. It only took off the food. Like that's only the food and the lipstick stayed on. This really shocked me. I was so surprised that this stayed on with like Indian food, especially naan. Like naan is, I feel like takes off food pretty easily. I am still just shocked that this is just food and it isn't any lipstick residue. What is this stuff? But here's another test to show you guys. Last we heard, last we heard <laughs> nothing. Within... Because Indian food it tends to, you know, kind of get everywhere. Um, I definitely used a napkin a lot more and a few of them. And every time, just food, no lipstick residue at all. Absolutely no lipstick residue, none. Okay, we're back. This is a different napkin, by the way. And yeah. Only food, there is only food on here. None of this has transferred over at all. Just past, oops, five hours? Just past five hours. If you can wear this for five hours and it looks like this, I mean, you're, you're in pretty good hands. More, well, more than eight hours have passed. And usually at this time, it starts to like wear away kind of in the middle, but it's perfectly there. Um, it is starting to feel like that kind of dry, a little bit like kind of itchy again like it did the other time so i'm just gonna apply some of the clear coat back on there but uh so far she's still going really really strongly past the halfway mark i decided to eat an apple you know the way that you eat an apple i feel like it's pretty strong and that's another way to test it but i think this is just like at this point it was just like stuck to my lips i feel like it was tattooed onto my lips because it wasn't coming onto the apple and it wasn't coming off of my lips either. Okay, so it's like 3 a.m. now and um, this makeup needs to come off, but there's still like five and a half hours left on the wear test. So we're gonna test it. I'm gonna brush my teeth and wash my face and I'm gonna see like, is it gonna stay on? Like what's gonna happen? I'm obviously not gonna wash my lips. I'll wash around, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Wow, I really cannot see anything right now, but oil cleanser, I'm really worried about using this because if this gets on the lips, it'll take it off immediately. That's how you're supposed to remove it. So I'm gonna try not to get it on the lips. Still on, I can't see anything, but it feels like it's still on. It seems to be staying on pretty well. And most likely, 
I'm gonna be sleeping with it on. At this point, I knew that it was not gonna come off until I use like a special cleanser. And I did what I usually don't like to do. I decided to go with this overnight. Um, but we still have five hours to go. It's three o'clock in the morning now, 3.30. So I'm gonna do a zoom in to show you. You can see it's like drying and starting to pull apart a little bit. I'm gonna hit it one more time with the, sh the shiny part. And uh, I guess I'm just gonna go to bed because I don't think I can stay up another five hours. I will check back whenever I wake up. Okay, it's time for bed. Um... Oh, never mind. I thought some color came off. Never mind. So the next morning, about 20 hours or so. It is still on. I mean, now it's way beyond the 16 hour mark. So I, I don't know what NYX put in this lipstick, but I have never, ever had a lipstick stay on as long as this one does. It is really really insane it's safe to say that this is not only definitely past the whole food test and the wear test but also to say that i think this is like the standard now um in long wearing lip products that i've tried personally myself so yeah i'm gonna pick up a few more colors of these because uh not only do these last all day long, but it like doesn't rub off on your mask at all. So yeah, I'm getting a few more of these. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If there are any lip products that have like really crazy claims that you want me to try on, please comment them below. And now I'm gonna try to like remove this because I don't think I should have it on my lips for as many hours as I have. Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys want to, I'll link the playlist before and I hope you all have a good day. Bye. Okay. All right. Ooh, came off. Thank God. My lips are free. I look like the Joker. Ah. Ooh, that's so much better. Damn, what is on that ingredient list? It's crazy. Crazy.